What's up everybody, I'm Sheed, welcome back to Become a Legend, episode 44, and we start off the episode facing Santos, and um, definitely extended highlights for this match, of course, Cole twisting and turning there, finally gets the shot away, but uh, is the shot is poor in the end, and uh, I want to talk about something, so apparently somebody requested, on top of the haircut, of course, that I mentioned last episode, somebody wants me to change Cole's boots, and uh, here's the thing, in Pez, as opposed to FIFA, you don't just change boots, uh, because for like um, looks, you know, for for as far as looks are concerned, but you actually want them to be uh, good boots because they do affect stats in Pro Evolution Soccer. So that's why, and I'll talk about that uh, more quite late on in this episode because uh, you'll see why I guess. But uh, yeah, we do get our first goal through Lucas Mura. Uh, a move started by Cole. The the initial pass was his, but the assist uh, wasn't. And uh, they have uh, quite a few oppor opportunities themselves, but Chenyu was actually pretty good in that goal. Uh, Cole with the pass for Mura again. Uh, gets the ball, but just kies it uh, at the near post, and you cannot believe that. Somebody, the the person that, um, actually I don't know if it's that person, but the ones that requested new haircut, they said that uh, they don't think this one is original enough. And uh, what do you expect? I was going to comment, I was going to reply to them. But what do you expect? Like in Pro Evolution Soccer, you just really don't. Not in FIFA even. Actually, you don't have like original selections. Uh, it would be nice if you we can get like a tool kind of um, mechanic system thingy in the next gen versions, so that we can actually like customize our own haircuts instead of just using the uh, stock ones, I guess. But uh, yeah, Cole did get one goal himself from that counter attack, and you'll see a lot of those opportunities in this episode. Because uh, probably you figured by the name, but it's kind of about that. Especially since Cole's pace is absolutely amazing. Uh, he gets a shot there right in Lucas Mura, and uh, he gets a uh, sloppy goal. Like basically, Cole's, Cole's sloppy seconds there. So two goals for Lucas Mura, but Cole still the performance of the match. He didn't get an assist in this match, only one goal, but he was just all over Santos. Not a particularly hard match, especially since we were expecting a really a tough challenge against Santos, but uh, Cole does one get one yellow card himself for just pressurizing way too much. He got fouled all over the place in this match, but none of the opposition players got uh, any any bookings. But uh, yeah, that's um, that's how it ends. A good performance by Cole, only a 7.5, still the man of the match though. And I was gonna talk about Cole's pace. Yeah, he has um, 98 dribble speed, 98 top speed, uh, 95 or six. Uh, or something uh, explosive power which of course is acceleration in Pez so yeah he's just a lethal guy on the counter attack and you'll see an example right here in this match against Japan Cole with the ball rolling inside the box after a very lengthy run and uh, yeah we are up against Japan and uh, Japan are actually very good side like we have seen in, in these past few weeks and in, in real life international uh, action that Japan are a tough side and they, they cause problems to the very um, top teams that we have to offer like in Europe and European football but uh, yeah Japan actually didn't feel all that dangerous in this match and you'll see in a bit a few uh, opportunities that I, I have to explain why they're there but uh, another uh, chance basically from nothing Cole just using his superior pace and acceleration to get past the defensive line and that's another goal for Cole so 2-0 only 30 minutes gone on the clock and this might just be a walk over and uh, England looking good Rooney being a bit selfish but uh, that doesn't matter because Cole just using his superior pace again uh, cuts inside the box I actually wanted to fake shot there but um, I just ended up using the speed merchant to turn and th these are a few opportunities uh, quick fire double headers bear basically and uh, let me explain it Basically, like, you know, I said that uh, Cole gets headers basically from crosses, but uh, if, if it's a corner situation, if it's a set-piece corner, Cole just cannot get the header because he's surrounded by players with good jumping and heading uh, abilities. But in this match with Japan, Cole actually got those three corners that you saw, the three headers, they were consecutive corners and Cole got the header on all of them. Basically because Japan are known, like, Japanese uh, players are known for their, like, uh, not so impressive impressive stature so i guess cole would just uh, uh was better than them in the air which doesn't happen often at all but um that match finishes 2-0 two, two goals for cole i definitely felt we definitely felt that cole could get a hat trick that match it ha hasn't happened in a while 
for Cole to get a hat trick, but uh, sadly we just couldn't. And the third match is against Palmeiras in the Brazilian league, and only um, Cole highlights basically for this match because it is a Sao Paulo derby against Palmeiras, but they were just so weak, and their defensive line was way too high, especially for um, a team that has Cole up front. So there, we, there you go. Basically. The match started with a very sloppy bicycle kick attempt by Cole, but then he gets a goal at the very next opportunity basically because of that very high defensive line and their defenders just felt really slow. Look, you probably saw that guy tackle like 5 feet away from Cole, so that definitely won't uh, keep Cole in line. Gets the ball though, passes it, uh, continuing, continuing to pass it along the ground, and he gets an assist as well. So one goal, one assist for Cole, two nil against Palmeiras, and it's actually pretty early on, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, they just weren't uh, challenging at all. And uh, so I'll talk about the boots. Let me not forget uh, after this match. I won't forget because uh, yeah, you'll see what happens. But uh, 33rd minute, Cole passes it again, and to the people. Basically, their last episodes, I don't think it was last episode, but last couple of episodes, somebody said to pass more, and I, I addressed that in the video. And then last video, they were like, shoot less. <laughs> so basically the same thing. But uh, we do pass, we sh we do shoot uh, quite uh, quite a few, quite a good amount of shoot of shots that we got that we get. Uh, but uh, still, that we're strikers, we have to shoot. We don't. We're not known for our assists, even though we get a few share of assists there, here and there. But still, Cole with his second goal of the match. There, another match that we felt that we could and should get the hat trick. Um, especially how weak Palmeiras were performing. Look at these stats: zero shots on target to 15. They had like three shots in total, and of course they were all off target. So Palmeiras just weren't having a good day at all. Cole there almost gets the the hat trick, but just breaks the post almost with that amazingly powerful shot there. And um, apparently we just couldn't get for some reason we couldn't we couldn't get uh, another goal though we try to get an assist here, but the keeper is equal to the save. And that's how it ends. Another match that we shouldn't got we should gotten a hat trick, especially since we were three 0 up in like the 30 something minute. So uh, yeah, after the match though, we get of course are the boots for the man of the match, and those are some sick uh, shooting boots. So that's why I go into my equipment in a little bit. And uh, we we were like having quite an epiphany. I don't think that's the right word there, but we were thinking about using them, even though we would sacrifice four uh, four stats from a pace. But uh, those shooting uh, boots are just amazing, and I might consider them for the future. But uh, yeah, this episode is indeed coming to an end. I'm going to change the circuit in the next episode because I know somebody, I mean, most of you want me to. And uh, yeah, we'll probably change the boots really too. I, I just have to think about it. I just, um, I don't know how much we would feel the lack of pace there, but uh, just four stats. I guess we can just grow them back. But uh, yeah, that's when this episode of Become a Legend. If you enjoyed, do leave it a like. I've been Shade. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.